September 7th, 10 a.m., District Court, Courtroom Number 1. Yep. Click the button. Yep. Okay, I'll do the judge. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Do you want to do Edgeworth or do you, or do you want to do Edgeworth? I, I, let me turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it's really loud. So, um, I'll go over a little bit of recap since this is starting in kind of, uh, Weirdly. in the beginning, in the beginning middle of this. So, uh, the person we're representing is someone called Maya Fay. Her older sister, Mia Fay, is, uh, was our boss. Yeah. She was murdered. Uh, everybody thinks it was Maya. Maya is a spiritual medium. Uh, the witness who called the police on Maya had a wiretap in her hotel room. Uh, the, uh, weapon, if you go to the court record, you'll see the weapon. Uh, it's the thinker. If you click on it, you can see it. Uh, the autopsy report was, uh, the time of death, 9-5 at 9 p.m. Caused single blunt force trauma, death was instantaneous. If you look at Maya's cell phone, you can check it, and you'll see the conversation at 9.27 a.m. between her and, uh, Mia. There's also some glass shards that, uh, the broken remains of a glass light stand, broken beyond all recognition. And then you're, there's your attorney badge, which is amazing, and I love it. It's awesome. Okay. Um, so, let's get going on this. Alright, so do you want to be Edgeworth, or do you want me to be Edgeworth? Uh, I can be him, I guess. Alright. Um, then give him a voice. A voice? Gosh, I haven't had enough soda for this shit. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, your honor. Oh my god, it's awesome. It's an <laughs> awesome voice. It's great. It's like he's slightly British, but not quite. Not quite. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles of the... Better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed the murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. You may call your first witness. I'm pretty sure the judge is supposed to say that. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. No, no, it, it, it said Edgeworth. I get why, why you would think that, but um, I'm pretty sure the judge is supposed uh, to say that. Yeah, probably. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Could you imagine being called Gumshoe? Yeah, this is that's this guy's name. Witness, um, please state your name and profession to the court. I, I already have a, a voice for this guy, and I really quite like it. Go ahead. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Eh. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Oh yeah, and in the uh, court case before this, it was revealed that the statue that they're talking about is actually a clock. <laughs> when you, like, click on it, it, uh -huh. like, says the time. It's weird. Uh -huh. it's stupid. Now, Detective, 
It, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Cass says hi. Okay. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? Couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. <laughs> What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Heh, <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. I'm also gonna want you to be Maya's voice because she's a girl and I don't of know course. how to do girl voices. All right, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Alright, we gotta pause for a second, um, so don't press anything yet. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So what do we have to do now? We have to cross-examine the, uh, witness's testimony and see if we can find any contradictions in what Okay, so what press play? Yep. Okay. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Let's press him on it. Did How do I press, press him on it? it? It's up to the top, le top left on the bottom screen. Okay. The first thing he says, press him on it. Okay. Who did you say you got a call from? <clears throat> hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. There were two... Oh, no, I don't read that. There are two people there already. Press them on it. Hold it. Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right. I I'd say it was about three minutes. Th that's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the killer got away. Indeed. So... Tell us who the two people you found were on the scene. Yes, sir. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix. Right? Let's go ahead and press him on it. Hold it. Are you absolutely sure it was us? You were there, you idiot. Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well. He does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. I should pick my points to press with a little more care. Okay, fine. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. There's nothing wrong there. Okay. Are you Why sure? We had a... Well, let's go ahead and press him on. It doesn't bring down anything, so let's go ahead and press him on. I, I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Hold it! Why is that? What's your reason? <laughs> really? Fine. Press him on why we had a witness account describing her. Yeah. Hold it! Hold on just one second. Y yeah If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Oh my god, she is the exact definition of Pink. Well, I guess she is Pink. Exactly. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um... Hmm, I guess pressing can have its advantages. 
Uh, yes. Gah. Sorry, I got the order of those things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about at first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. <laughs> After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Oh my god, he did it. Oh my god, wow. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. That's circumstantial at best. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y your Honor? Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh, I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. Whoa, hello. Do you think we're okay with that one? Uh... Or press no. Him. No, press him. Hold it! And did you find any evidence? Now, now, don't jump the gun on me, pal. Just listen. I'm getting to the good part. I got a bad feeling about this. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. Press him on it. Hold it! Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Really? That's what you're saying? Ho ho, then who did write it, smart pants? Wh who? Um... I did <laughs> No. The killer. The, the killer! Anyone can see that. Huh. You're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. She was framed! I did gum his voice, I'm sorry. Hold Objection. on. If oh, that's, that's the case, objection. where's your evidence? Uh... <sighs> huh. I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouths, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. Uh... Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Um, Hold it! Are we sure? Yes. Okay. Do you have proof that it was Mia that, who wrote it? Of course I do, pal. Uh-oh. I sounded pretty confident. This might not be good. Lab test results showed the blood was the victim's. Press? Press him. Hold it! What kind of tests were these again? Huh? What kind? Um, well, I hear they take the, um, little bits in the blood, the, er, hemo, hemo, hermo, goblins, hub, gub, er, herma, goblin, bubblin. I refuse to testify on this matter, sir. I'm no expert on blood tests. Yes, that was quite clear. You may continue with your testimony. Th thanks, pal. I mean, your honor, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Y yeah I think you can expect a pleasant bonus in your next paycheck. Oh, 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 oh. That was a mess. Right, where was I?